Hi and welcome back. Our topic is complex sentence. So I hope you are ready. Good. It says this is the sentence that consists of an of an independent clause and when we say an independent clause you know that we mean a main clause and at least at least one dependent clause and when we say dependent clause you know we are talking about a subordinate clause with examples things become easier so for example you see clean your room this is an independent clause this is a main clause and you see this is a sentence you remember a main clause can stand alone as a sentence now we have before you sleep before you sleep is a clause why because we've got a subject and a verb what is the subject you where is the verb sleep so it is a clause but a dependent clause now clean your room is an independent clause before you sleep is a dependent clause now we are going to um, join them to have a complex sentence this is what we do or we'll say clean your room before you sleep clean clean your room before you sleep now the first top is gone that is on um, clean your room now the first top is at the end at the end or after the word sleep so we have clean your room before you sleep now we say we have it we have the complex sentence good mum will see you is an independent clause is a main clause you know that this is a sentence after you have finished your work after you have finished your work this is a dependent clause you've got a subject and a verb the subject you and you've got a verb now this is a um, dependent clause so we are going to join the both of them to have a complex sentence so we say mum we see you after mum will see you after you have finished your work after you have finished your work so you see the first stop that is on after you of mum will see you now is after work now we say clean your room before you sleep is a sentence a complex sentence mum will see you after you have finished your work too is a complex sentence why because we've got an independent clause and you've got um, a dependent clause unless you do your work this is a dependent dependent clause you see the meaning is not even complete the meaning is not complete but you have you've got a subject and a verb so you won't go out this is a main clause you've got your subject and a verb now we are going to join the both of them to make a complex sentence so we say unless you do your work you won't go out unless you do your work you won't go out now we have a dependent clause and an independent clause so we say we have um we have our complex sentence i i, I hope that um i hope you have understood this since we've had um, examples um in this way now let's just continue having them in the normal way that or in the way that we normally do like the food is here when you are hungry where is our independent clause the food is here where is the dependent clause when you are hungry so we have our complex sentence now the food is here when you are hungry although the area was full of people it was quiet although the people um the area was full of people it was quiet where is our dependent clause although the area was full of people where is our independent although the area was full of people is dependent is a dependent clause it was quiet is um it was quiet 
is an independent clause. So now we say, although the, the area was full of people, although the area was full of people, it was quiet. This is a complex sentence. I love my students, though they sometimes provoke me. They sometimes provoke me. Where is our independent clause? I love my students. That is our independent clause. Where is the dependent clause? Though they sometimes provoke me. That is our dependent clause. So we say that is our complex sentence. You counsel, you counsel me because you are my true friend. You counsel me is the independent clause because you are my true friend is the dependent clause. So you've got an independent clause and subordinate clause. So we say we have a complex sentence. She was happy that I was late. That I was late. So that I was late is the dependent clause. She was happy is the independent clause. So she was happy that I was late is a complex sentence. As she went to school, she became more hardworking. As she went to school is the dependent clause. She became more hardworking is the independent clause. So as she went to school, she became more hardworking. We say is a complex sentence. I would like to help you. Only I have to rest. Only I have to rest is um, the dependent clause. I would like to help you is the only I have to rest is the dependent clause. I would like to help you is the independent clause. So you've got an independent clause and a and subordinate clause. That is why we say this is a complex sentence. Now here we'll have examples to see the difference um, between a compound, a compact sentence and a complex sentence. So we have sentences to see that, to ask, is this a compound or complex? Or to say that this is compound, compound sentence or a complex sentence. For example, go home when you hear the ringing of the bell. Go home when you hear the ringing of the bell. Now you see go home can stand alone as um, a sen sentence. So um, it is a clause, a main clause. Because when I say go home, I mean you, the person that I'm speaking to, go home. Now that is a main clause. When you hear the ringing of the bell is a dependent clause. So without any doubt, you know that this, since is uh, an independent and a dependent, independent clause and a dependent clause, this is a complex sentence. If you work hard, you will be successful in your career. If you work hard is a dependent clause, you will be successful in your career is an independent clause. So you've got dependent, um, dependent and independent. That is um, a dependent clause and independent clause. So this two is a complex sentence. She doesn't lie, not, um, she doesn't lie, not she cheat. She doesn't lie is an independent clause. Um, does she cheat? You, you always remember that. Um, it is because of no that this form, is because of no that we have does she cheat instead of she does cheat. So does she cheat changed from she does cheat is an independent clause too because remember no is um is a coordinating conjunction so she doesn't lie is an independent clause and the she cheat or let's say she does cheat is an independent clause now this is a compound um, a compound sentence but like i said earlier you remember it's because uh, of the no that we have does she cheat instead of she does cheat? So this is a compound sentence, an independent and another independent. We sweep the we sweep the house and you do the dishes. We sweep the house is an independent clause. You do the dishes is an independent clause too. So these two is a compound 
sentence. Tonko likes money, but he doesn't work. Tonko likes money is an independent clause, is a name of a male. He doesn't work too is an independent clause. So we have another compound sentence. You want me to help you yet you don't respect me. You want me to help you? This is an independent clause. You don't respect me too is an independent clause. Yet is a coordinating conjunction. But too is a coordinate, um, coordinating conjunction as well as and. So we've got two independent clauses joined by a coordinating conjunction yet. Yet. That is why you say this is a compound sentence. An independent clause and another independent cl um, clause joined by a co coordinating conjunction yet. So this too is a compound sentence. Wash your clothes before the sun sets. Wash your clothes, no doubt this is an independent clause. Before the sun sets is a dependent clause. So since we have an independent clause and a dependent clause, what we say we have is a complex sentence. The last examples, here we've got, I love you for you are honest. So the example is, I love you for you are honest. I, lo I love you is an independent clause. For, you remember, is a coordinating conjunction. If you remember, for and no obey yourself. So you are honest too is an independent clause. You've got an independent clause and another independent clause joined by a coordinating conjunction for. So for that, we say this is a compound sentence. Are you laughing at her or is she just lying? Are you laughing at her? You remember we have, um, we have, I'm talking about the main clause. We've got declarative. We've got, inter um, we've got declarative, interrogative, exclamatory and imperative. So you, you should be able to remember that. So are you laughing at her is a main clause. O is a coordination conjunction. Is she just lying? Is she just lying? Is a main clause too. So for that, you should be able to remember or know that this is a compound sentence. The last example says, sit when you wish. Sit. You should be able to remember if this is, is this declarative? Like for example, if you just use um, the word only the if you use only sit is this declarative or sh should it be de declarative exclamatory interrogative or imperative you should be able to remember that it should be imperative if you just take sit so if you use um, the word sit that is only the word making a sentence with it I tell you sit I say sit I say this is imperative you should be able to remember that we've talked about your declarative ex exclamatory interrogative and imperative so let's continue the, um, the topic when you wish is a dependent clause so see if, since you've got an independent clause and a dependent clause definitely without any doubt you say this is a complex sentence Wow, I hope that was great. I hope you enjoyed it. And I say until next time.